So today, my mission is to make a start on turning this summer house into some sort of a studio, somewhere that I can do reviews like the Fitbit review that I did, you know, any anything like that. Because at the moment it's kind of a bit of a wasted space. But there are a few issues. Chief amongst them is I need to try and sort out some kind of lighting that's going to work. And also, it's a humongous mess in here. There is just literally stuff everywhere. Oh, that's obviously going to have to stay. Put that away. It should be totally socially unacceptable to send paper through the your mailbox. Unless it is some absolutely essential form to do with buying or selling a house. I what do not put it in my mailbox. Oh my word, so much waste paper. Hopefully that's a problem that will disappear in time. The reason why I want to turn this into a studio is because here this camera, the sound works fine. Can you hear that? Buzzing background noise, which you can only really fix if you turn the gain of the mic way down. But then you can't hear anything easily and you have to sort of shout. What I have been doing is just using the Lumix when I'm up in the office, but the problem with that is I've noticed the Lumix, the lens has got this annoying clicking thing. That sort of thing, because I always wind up with like it sort of, it, as you move it even slightly, it kind of clicks a little bit. First thing I should do is probably clear this desky area. Mole wrench, this is without a doubt the most useful tool I have ever owned. It's like every time you can't get a grip on something properly. See, the problem here is, as I suspect is kind of the case probably for most people, every time we've moved, I've just chucked everything in a box and carted it from one location to the next without really going through it. So over time, things have become more and more disorganized and I've got more and more stuff. I need to clear all of those boxes and get rid of that stuff. All of this stuff belongs in the garden shed anyway. All these remote control helicopters, they need to go somewhere sensible. And then hopefully I can move the plastic boxes from there to over there. Uh, not quite sure what we're going to do with this corner yet. Because the windows are, you know, all, all along this side here, I would prefer to be shooting for the most part facing, you know, like this. Because then I'll be facing the nice natural light, which there isn't any anymore because I just spent the whole day editing. <gasps> oh my word. Editing that electric band video was a humongous amount of work which is partly why I want to create a second video from it because I've already done most of the work and yet 60% of the content, nobody will see if I don't find a home for it. Uh, and I don't want to mess with the vlog because, you know, I like the vlog. It's my day job when I'm not looking after Jasper. Yeah, lots and lots to do. This is gonna take me ages. There's been a little bit of a delay to the vlog filming today because my jazzy is feeling a bit under the weather. Just got a little bit of a temperature. If it follows the normal pattern of these things, he'll be absolutely fine, probably in about an hour or two. That reminds me, I need to set my car to charge to 90% because at the moment it's just sitting out there at 70 and I'm gonna need all the power for tomorrow's 200 mile journey. Actually, it won't be 200 miles, will it? It'll be about 350 miles by the time I've got to Bournemouth via Bath. It is definitely the long way to Bournemouth. <laughs> this blog post isn't going that well. Hmm, it's not quite right. Nice clean shelves, you'll see. I'll give you a tour in a second. It really isn't impressive. I basically just put everything away, sort of moved some stuff around bunched a whole bunch of stuff up that side of the room. Just about put this room back in service now. Essential tool. Well, it's definitely a fair amount better anyway. 
couple of pieces of news which I feel I just can't possibly keep to myself. First piece of news is apparently, and this is more like the comedy news of the day, Vauxhall have got plans for an electric car. You know, because the Ampera E is not going to be made in uh, right-hand drive form. So that kind of leaves Vauxhall without any kind of a all-electric offering. They've released no details. We, I don't know anything more than that. It could just be the next-gen Bolt, in which case it'll still be like four or five years before it turns up. So, great or not. And in other news, the new Renault Zoe, the second-gen Renault Zoe, with its 41 kilowatt hour battery. Apparently gonna have a North American rating range of something like 186 miles down to sort of 173, depending on whether you get the faster charging one or the slower charging one. That faster charging one being the one with the lower range. That's, that's, if that's a real world achievable range, then you should get what I like to call a solid 150 miles out of it. Now that really is good. That sort of 22 kilowatt hour charging could be problematic though. At least they've got the type 2 43 kilowatt hour charging. Well, I suppose it'll take, you know, an hour and 20 minutes empty to full, something like that. So it's an exciting future vehicle. Hopefully I'll be able to get myself a test drive in one of those. Ooh, I'm gonna speak to Darren. Right, okay. Let's give you a quick tour of my office. Did I just call this an office? It's not really an office anymore. It's now going to be my studio. So I'm going to get some plants for these shelves here. I now have room for my desk chair finally. Look how spartan and clean and tidy that end looks. SAD lamps, provide a bit of lighting, tripod. And then we've got this side. Which actually still doesn't look that bad really. So this, this whole end here is going to be my studio end. That would be a bold-faced lie if I told you that there isn't a whole load more work to do. I basically just put everything away in drawers and sort of move things around a bit. I just need to go through it with a couple of big black bags and chuck out all the rubbish. And on the Jasper front, poor chicken, he's still feeling a bit, he's definitely not right, he's got a bit of a temperature. We've given him some cow pollen put him to bed and hopefully tomorrow morning he will wake up right as rain. Speaking of which, I need to do some emergency editing and then go to sleep myself because I've got a really, really early start tomorrow, which hopefully will be quite interesting and exciting. So on that note, I hope you've all enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye.